On December 1st, 1955, a white bus driver told Rosa Parks to get up from her seat and move to the back of the bus. She refused, and in refusing, Rosa Parks inspired generations of Black Americans to stand up and fight for what is right. But we hope to achieve equal rights as any human being before. On August 11, 2020, 65 years after Rosa Parks' defiant act of courage, Donald Trump told U.S. Senator and Democratic Vice Presidential nominee Kamala Harris where she could sit. She was the meanest, the, the most horrible, most disrespectful of anybody in the U.S. Senate. Probably nastier than even Pocahontas. He smeared Harris with coded racist tropes and sickening birther lies. And by the way, the lawyer that wrote that piece is a very highly qualified, very talented lawyer. Just like that bus driver in Alabama back in 1955, Donald Trump had exposed his racism and put forth the twisted idea that he was better than her simply because he was white and she was black, and because he was a man and she was a woman. Mr. President, as Kamala Harris has shown throughout her life as a district attorney, attorney general of California, United States senator, and now Democratic vice presidential candidate, Kamala Harris will sit wherever she wants. Like Rosa Parks before her, her story will inspire millions of people around the world and send countless women to pursue the highest positions in the land. And you'll just be an old racist, pathetically sending out angry tweets from your prison cell. As I said, Joe, when you called me, I am incredibly honored by this responsibility, and I'm ready to get to work. I am ready to get to work.